Hello and welcome to the series where I take ruined model trains. This loco is absolutely filthy and try to put them back on track. If I succeed, they'll work again. Of course it's gonna work. Oh, that's purring beautifully like a little cat. But if I fail, they'll be left to the mercy of the evil scrap man. The Timomatic machine will give me a limited time to repair each engine. If a loco still doesn't work when the time runs out, the scrap man will come knocking. Welcome to Salvage or Scrap. Without any further ado, it's time to introduce the long-suffering locos who have sadly run out of steam. I am going to be tackling each of these engines throughout the series, and there really is a bit of everything here. A bit of American, a bit of British, there's even a Belgian loco shoved in there as well. There are steamers, there are diesels, there are electrics, and they're from quite a number of different manufacturers as well. We've got Hornby, Triang, Lima, Riverossi, Mainline, and others. They do have one thing in common though, and that is that they're all badly neglected and in desperate need of attention. Today's patient is a 1996 Hornby 040 tank engine. Time for a quick inspection to find out what I'm dealing with. So it's quite obvious from the start that there is a serious problem here and that is that it's held together by rubber bands and incredibly also pennies. Now this locomotive cost me £14.50, although I guess we can make that £14.47 now because of the extra change. Behind the coins though, there is no smoke box door and that's a problem. The rods are also a little bit rusty looking, but otherwise the model looks absolutely fine. The big question though is, does it work? So let's initiate the power test. So yes, it is a runner. It's very, very noisy, so there's definitely some work to do there. But let's find out how long I have to restore this engine. Timomatic, if you will. 27 minutes. And are there any special requests from the Timomatic today? Okay, so it must be complete. I'm guessing that means the smoke box door then. Right, I need a plan because servicing a basic Hornby 040 in 27 minutes, that's fine, that's not a challenge but having to create a smoke box door from scratch in that same 27 minutes, that's gonna be tight. That is gonna beat the challenge. So I need to come up with a design, I need to prepare, and then I'll just do my best and give it a try. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. I'm up for it, I'm ready to start. 27 minutes, let's get this train back on the track. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, so the first thing is to create the new smoke box door. And as promised, I have that ready to go here on this memory stick. So let's do this real quick. So I designed this in SketchUp. It's very basic, it was very quick. It didn't take me very long at all to produce. It is a smoke box door. It looks like a smoke box door. However, it is very basic. I've done this on purpose because it needs to print really, really quickly. So I am going to be 3D printing the smoke box door. The estimate for the design I've just showed you is around 13 minutes, but sometimes it can take a lot longer than that. So I'm really hoping the 3D printer is on time. We'll check back in with that in another 13 minutes. This loco shouldn't be too bad, I'm hoping. Ooh, the coins have just pinged away all over the place. That's kind of one minute gone already. The first important job is to do a full strip down. So that involves body removal, of course, removal of the motor, which will give me better access to the mechanism, and then I'll be able to do a full clean out of the axles, the gears, and the pickups and such. So I'm gonna start by just clearing up the axles and the gear, make sure there is no debris, because there was a lot of growling as this thing was running, which suggests that something ain't right on the inside. Mm. 
Right, I can hear the 3D printer starting to print, so we have a smoke box on the way. If it goes wrong or something like that, I, I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. Will I have to glue a penny back onto the front? Because I've got to have this complete. As for cleaning the pickups, I have decided to just use a needle to remove the surface dirt. This should save time as we know the loco was working to begin with. So up next, while I wait for those to dry, I think I'm gonna work on the wheels. 23 minutes left, 23 minutes, 40 left, I think the timer matic is saying. All right, this is going good. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be able to do this. The biggest unknown is the 3D printer though. When I'm in a rush like this, it is a good idea to use the wire wheel to clean the wheels, as it's a lot faster and probably a lot more effective as well than using the cotton buds. And since I don't have very long for this project, I think that is definitely the best way to go. All right, and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna clean the rusty rods while I'm at it as well. Yes, perfect. That was so dangerous, one wrong move, and I could have seriously damaged the wheels there. But it saved me time, it saved me having to disassemble the whole wheel set, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a good thing. Time for a full lubrication. I've decided to lubricate every part that moves just to be on the safe side to try and cure that growl. So that goes for the wheel set, of course the motor, and then the gear set as well. How long have I got left, Mr. Timomatic Machine? Uh, 21 minutes. Oh, this is this is not going to be an issue at all. How's the 3D printer going? I guess I should go and check, shouldn't I? Okay. Oh, so, as you can see, the smoke box door is being printed right now, and it's saying nine minutes remaining. So I don't know. That's gonna oh, that's gonna take me to about the 10 minute mark, and then I've got to print the back piece. I need everything ready. I need this loco 100% ready for action by the time that smoke box door is finished because that's gonna be cutting it close. Look at that. So I think I've managed to clear all the debris out from the axles and the wheel set is now turning freely. So I can now tentatively start to reassemble all of this. I did discover a rusty screw. I know it's totally irrelevant and doesn't matter at all, but I've just decided I've got the time. Why not polish it up? Make everything on this model look a little bit better. Okay. One nice, shiny looking screw. Let's take a look at that. Ah, that looks nicer. There we are. See, that's how confident I am. This loco is not going to the scrap man. No way. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sort this one out, but I'm going to try and reassemble it early, if anything because then if there are any issues, I've got time to troubleshoot them uh, before the smoke box door becomes the priority. I've now done everything I can possibly do for this mechanism, at least in the time, so it is now time to reassemble the locomotive. And let's just find out whether we've actually got power coming through the wheels. That's an important question. Yep. Yes, okay, good. Now, even though that wire wheel is amazing at removing hard, stubborn dirt, it does still leave a little bit of mess behind which can impact conductivity of the wheel so I do always give the wheels one final clean using the usual method using the cotton bud and the IPA and that just makes sure they are 100% clean. Three minutes left and it's definitely definitely taking shape as a smoke box door look at that. Right let me go and clean up that body best I can. Now I've run out of time to take this body downstairs and give it a proper clean so I've decided I'm just going to do it the bodge way and that is to take some dry cotton buds and just take off the surface dirt. Obviously if the loco was much dirtier than it is this method would definitely not work. I've also noticed that this loco has quite a few areas of missing paint just on the black areas really so around the chimney, on the steps, around the running plate. I've got the time so hey why not try and paint it up. It shouldn't do me any harm to practice my painting skills either. Oh, 3D printer's finished. Hang on. Okay, okay, it's a smoke box door. How long do we have left, time matic machine? All right, we've got 12 minutes left. All right, we've got to get this thing out of here. 
So I now have the front part of the smoke box door. As you can see, there's nothing special about this. It certainly doesn't look as good as the original one, but the fact is I now have a smoke box door for this loco of some description, which is more than I had before. But the bad news is it won't fit on the locomotive like this. There's a second part to this smoke box door, which looks like this, and that should allow the smoke box door to actually be fitted to the locomotive. So I've got to get that printing now and hope that it finishes before the timer runs out and time is ticking on. Right, let me get on with my painting. And hopefully I won't get paint all over me and it, because I'm not so good at this in a rush. I'm guessing somebody's just played with this, had some fun and dropped it a few times, made the paint come off. Got to be careful where I put my fingers now. Time to wash the brush. Wash, wash, wash. Timomatic. How am I doing for time? <gasps> right. So we're we're into the last ten minutes now. Nine minutes, twenty something left. All right. Let's inspect the new smoke box door. It is quite a bulbous one, isn't it? You can see it's got handle and it's got the hinges on it. I am slightly concerned because the timomatic is showing that I've got less than five minutes to go and the 3D printer has been saying zero minutes remaining for ages and it's still busy. It's still doing it. Hurry up, please hurry up. It still carries on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's done, it's done. So I'm gonna allow this just a second or two to cool. Okay, okay, it's presenting me with the final piece of the smoke box door. No time to let this cool, so hopefully it's not going to warp or anything serious like that. So that's it, that's the fixing bracket for the smoke box door. Now due to the nature of 3D printing and due to the speed with which I've printed this, the little pegs that I've designed are a little bit misshapen, so I am just filing those down to make sure they fit properly. Now I can do a test fit just to make sure the two parts go together, and as you can see, they certainly do. So hopefully you can see where this is going. Now that they do fit, I'm gluing them together so that they stay together, and I now just have to try to fit this to the front of the smoke box. I'm gonna do it, here we go. Oh, that was so satisfying. Okay, it doesn't look great. It's not up to Hornby standard, that smoke box, but the Loco is fully serviced, and it has a smoke box. Timomatic, stop the clock. Where are we? We are at one minute 54 remaining. Okay, let's get this back to the workshop and confirm that it still works. The patient is back in the workshop, ready for the final inspection. Remember, here's what it looked like beforehand. The thing was held together with rubber bands, its smoke box was entirely missing, and the performance was pretty hit and miss as well. Very noisy, very hesitant, not the greatest runner in the world. And here is what it looks like now. The rubber bands are gone. It does have a smoke box door. It's not the greatest in the world, but it does have one. And of course, all the little nicks in the paintwork have been tidied up so that the loco looks a little bit better. So that's great and all, but does it run any better now? Initiate that power test. <laughs> So that is at 50% speed, same as before. It's so much faster now, in fact, it's on the move. It's that lively. It's working much, much better. Still a little bit noisy, but all of that hesitance is completely gone. So I can confirm that the Loco has been successfully salvaged and it is officially safe from the evil scrap man. Let's take a look at the leaderboard of repair times. Of course, this is the first experiment, so it is the only time I have on the scoreboard, but we will see how that builds up as time goes on. So the only thing left to do now is to send this lovely loco back out into the world, back onto the railway. And there it goes. For now though, job done. I will see you next time on Salvage or Scrap.